folks. Thanks for joining me today. So today is day number nine. Like, oh my gosh, day number nine. And I really hope you like this guy. I fell in love with him as soon as I was done. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy is so, so cute. So I'm doing something different again for my background. So I am using a, it's a, it's a purple color, or at least it said it was purple, but um, it ended up showing up pink, which was totally fine. But then I used some pearl white and I mixed it in for the top coat and I sponged it on, which is what I'm doing right now. And I really like the sheen that it gave it. So it was a bit different. I put the base coat on just as the regular color and you can see my brush strokes, but that's okay because I'm sponging on this part so that you don't see my brush, bro brush strokes. Then um, I use my General Charcoal Pencil and I use the gray color because it's a light background. I really wanted to be able to see it. And I just sketch on my, um, my little uh, sketch here that I want to paint. And if you saw the thumbnail, you know that this is a moose. And I'm doing a moose because I am from Northern Ontario and we see a lot of moose. Uh, not necessarily this time of year, but they are out there. So I thought I would do something uh, cute for that uh, to resemble where I'm from. So um, I'm using a light brown color. I think it's uh, tan. Um, all the let, let, bleh. I'll start again, guys. <laughs> all of the colors are listed below in the description, along with the brand name. So if you want to follow along and do the same thing as I am, um, all the colors are listed there. However, I am encouraging you to use what you have in your stash. And if you only have one color of brown, you can make whatever color you want by adding white or black. And depending on how much will determine your color. So um, you don't have to do exactly as I'm doing. Uh, these are just suggestions, but... Anyway, so I'm uh, sponging in some uh, white while the tan was still a little bit wet so that I could blend it all together. And now I'm doing his head, or I guess where his eyes would be and his ears and his antlers come out of. And then I do his body in the same color. So I'm just putting on a very thick coat of this brown and I'm going to be sponging it um, right now. So I'm using one of my blending brushes that I've made. So it's just an old brush that's lost its use. And I just cut off all the bristles really short uh, up to the metal part. And then it acts like a sponging brush. So it's like recycling and being able to give this brush new life and a new purpose. So I don't really like to throw many things out. If you ever saw my studio or my craft room, you'd understand. But if you are also a crafter, you understand. <laughs> so anyways, um, I do the same for the body. Instead of painting it on, I'm just going to sponge it. And I did his ears as well, all in the same color. I will be changing this color slightly because I want it to match how I did the muzzle. So that uh, there's a little bit of white in there to... Um, give it some lights and some darks and just to change it up a bit. Uh, and I'm just using my finger dauber uh, sponge and there is a link in the description below where you can get your own set. I bought them off of Amazon. Uh, so if you like how the effect works, they're fairly inexpensive. So pop on over, just hit that link there. Um, and please let me know if you do uh, click on any of the links that I do have in my description. They don't work. Let me know because uh, I'll be honest, I'm not always double checking to make sure that uh, the link that I've provided is still available. So if you do, let me know. Um, so uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm back at doing the mousse and I'm doing a different color altogether for his antlers. And again, I'm going to be putting a little bit of white in here and just to lighten it up a little bit. I'm telling you guys, when this guy's all done, oh my gosh, he is so, so cute. And I, I know I say so twice, and I've done that twice, because it's true. Um, I, I 
probably my favorite out of the entire 12 days before Christmas series. Um, he, he just so cute and looks so innocent when he's finished. So I really hope you give him a try. If you do, let me know. Um, you can pop on over to my Facebook page and join my Facebook group there and you can post um, pictures of your paintings or your drawings or your watercolors or your oil paintings. I'd love to see uh, what your medium of choice is and um, let me see if you've painted it on anything other than a rock. Um, I mean, it's not just limited to a rock. You can do canvas, you can do wood, you can do um, just about anything, really. So I'd love to see um, what your creations come up with. So now I'm just uh, sponging on a little bit, outlining his body, and I'm making it all dark again because I didn't quite like how uh, the dried result was. So. I just decided to go back and do it again. So that's the beauty of acrylic paint, paint is you can go back in, do it again if you don't like it the first time. Just let it dry. And that's what I did. So I'm just showing you now what I did and I'm just blending it all in. And it turns out way better than the first go. Maybe it's because it has that extra coat of paint on it now and I'm just sponging over top. I'm not really sure, but he did end up turning out to look a lot better. So um, I'm just doing his face here. Again, I'm using these sponging brush brushes that I, again, purchased off of Amazon if you want your own set. Um, I believe they come in a set of three, so small, medium, and large. Um, I've left a link in the description below for that as well. So, and the rock that I'm painting on, I uh, purchased the mold from the Happy Dotting Company. So, yep, there's a link for that one too, down below. So uh, go and check her out. Uh, she's got so many really cool molds to be able to make all sorts of different things, different size rocks. Um, most of them are round. Oh, and the, I should mention the really cool thing with this. If you're ever doing any kind of dot mandalas, these stones, once they're casted, they have a tiny little bump on the middle. So you don't have to try to figure out where the center is and you can use that as your starting point. And um, the templates that you can purchase from her also have a little hole in the template. It's, it's a silicone template and you can line it up right inside of it and then draw your lines. Uh, it's ingenious, really. So um, I want to do some more uh, dot mandalas uh, in the new year. So that's something else that's on my plate. Um, but right now I'm just focused on uh, this particular series of the 12 days before Christmas. Now I am a, di a day late, so it's going to be the 11 days before Christmas and then Christmas Day. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry guys, I miscalculated, um, but it fits because the next tutorials that I have coming up fit for uh, Christmas Eve and for Christmas Day. So uh, I'm very happy for that. And uh, I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy them as much as I have putting them together for you. And it's been a bit of a challenge to make sure that these are all painted, resined, and recorded, edited, and then voiceover in time for each day. So I'm telling you, it was a bit of a challenge, but I'm always up for a challenge. And this was so fun. I, I have to tell you, I really enjoyed this. And I've already got my brain sort of working as to the next series that I want to do. Um, so any suggestions that you have as well, leave them in the comments below. If you, if there's anything you want to see me paint, um, just let me know and I will get them done. Now I do know I have some in the queue. There is going to be a hanging frog. Um, I had a viewer ask for me to paint that. Um, it was on one of my tutorials but it was just a still photo wasn't the actual tutorial so I will be doing that um, and I promised a gnome series so I'm working on that one as well on top of all of my other stuff um, I paint uh, a lot of different things uh, throughout the season and I just finished up my craft shows for the season 
and now I'm getting ready for spring and summer. So um, put that all on top of everything else that I do. It's just been crazy, but I love it. I Idle hands, right? You can't have idle hands and I'm always busy. So back to the painting. I've now outlined everything in um, black and now I'm just uh, putting some shading into the bottom part of his ears and um, you'll notice that maybe his body's a little bit different and that's okay. So now I'm just doing some touch-ups uh, on his muzzle there and I've got his uh, big old nostrils there all done up and yeah he's looking so great. I love it. So I sponge that out too because I don't want any um, uh, paint brush lines so uh, that just sort of blends it in and put on his little tiny beady eyes and I gotta give him some eyebrows and there he has them and maybe a little tuft of hair. Yep there we go. So isn't he cute? So now let's make him Christmassy. So we'll call him Murray. Um, no rhyme or reason. I, it's the first name that came to my head. So Murray here um, needed to decorate the Christmas tree and he got all tangled up in the lights. So uh, we are going to be putting Christmas lights on him all over the place. And this was so fun to do and actually was very easy. And I really hope you try it. You don't have to do Christmas lights. You could always do something like garland or a tinsel or anything like that. Um, but I thought I would go with Christmas lights. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like this video. And make sure you subscribe because I've got tons of these and more planned. And ring the bell because that'll give you a notification every time I post something new. So I'm just putting on some black lines here. Basically thinking in my mind where these lights would be. All tangled around his antlers and around his neck. You know that kind of thing. And then I just put on little dabs of color. And I kind of make them into like a teardrop shape that's upside down. And um, so the points at the bottom. And it looks great. So I started off with four colors, sorry, four lights of each color. Um, and then once I got that on there, I just filled in the rest. So um, not knowing how much space I would have, I thought if I started with four, then I can go back with the colors and fill them in as I go. So I do four yellow, four blue, uh, four red, and for green. So those are the typical colors that I have always seen as Christmas lights when you're buying the multicolors. There's so many out there now that you can get like purple and pink and all sorts of different colors that um, I, d I didn't want to get into that. I wanted to go with the regulars, the normal, the stuff that we we know and that's why I did this. Um, so when I was putting the red ones on, I noticed that there was a lot of space. So I started doing extra red ones before I even got the green ones on because I really had some space that I needed to fill up. And uh, so I just went ahead and started doing it. I do put on some more red or sorry, not red, some blue and some yellow ones. Um, but I, I don't think I show you because I think I forgot to press record when I did that part. So you'll see it in the end though, but you, and you get the idea. So I just um, uh, do that for all of the lights. Then I go around with my fine lining brush and I just paint a black line around them so that they are attached to the wire um, or to the black line or the cord or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I do that all the way around on all of them and uh, it really sets them out so that it's not sort of, I don't know, blended in or mixed in with or swallowed up, I guess, by the background because then it really makes them pop. And then after I get them all outlined, I then paint a little tiny white stripe on each of them so that they have like a light reference uh, of a reflection of light um, 
just to make it a little, uh, a little bit more cute. I mean, really, this guy's so cute. He's so, so cute. <laughs> so I hope you really like this and uh, let me know uh, in the comments below what you think of this guy. And if you like the name Murray, it's the first name that came to my mind when I thought Murray the Moose, right? I don't know. I, it just it suits him. Anyway, so uh, I also wanted to point out that um, I do go around and I fix up any of the uh, black uh, outlines uh, that I may have sponged over, like uh, around his, his mouth there. I see that um, it's a little bit broken. So I do go and I fix that up uh, afterwards and uh, some parts on his nostrils. Um, I don't recall if I filmed that or not but um, that's what I do. So I finish up this let them dry and then I give them um, a coat of resin and uh, he's ready to go. So there you have it folks life is what you make it so get creative. Mm -hmm.